Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to show that the equation of the tangent to this hyperbola h given by xy equals c squared at this point p has the equation t squared y plus x equals 2ct. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to do it, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back you can check your methods and work solution against mine as I take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, just to outline what's going on, we've got our rectangular hyperbola H shown here in red, and we've got our tangent at the point P. It's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1 is ct and y1 is c over t. We just need to get the gradient m for this straight line. And we can do that by differentiation. So we've got our curve, which is given by xy equals c squared. And if we differentiate this, we can differentiate it in many ways. We could use, for instance, implicit differentiation from here. I'm not going to do that way. I could rearrange it, make y the subject, and that would be y equals c squared over x. But there's nothing to stop you doing implicit differentiation. In fact, as an exercise, I would encourage you to have a go at that. The other way would be to do it by parametric differentiation, which I'll show you as well. If we just take this version, though, we can find dy by dx very easily dy dx would be equal to, well this is c squared times x to the power minus 1, so if we differentiate that it's going to be minus c squared times x to the power minus 2, or just simply c squared over x squared. So that to get that gradient at p, we just take when x is equal to ct. And when x equals ct, we therefore have that the gradient dy dx is going to be equal to minus c squared divided by x squared, which is now c squared, t squared. Those c squares cancel, and we're just left with that equaling minus 1 over t squared. OK, so that's the gradient, and I could go on to just work out the equation then of the tangent. I did say, though, that there was another way that we could look at the gradient, and that is by parametric differentiation. I'll just say or, forgetting that gradient, and we've got x equals ct, we've got y equals c over t, and we just need to get dx dt dy dt, and we should then be able to use the chain rule and get dy dx. So if we get dx by dt, dx by dt, is going to be equal to c dy dt. Okay, if we think of this now as ct to the power minus 1, that would be minus c times t to the power minus 2, or minus c over t squared. So therefore, dy dx is equal to dy by dt times dt by dx, using the chain rule. And so, therefore, dy dt is minus c over t squared. And we multiply that with dt by dx, which is to invert that. Take the reciprocal, it'll be 1 over c. The c's cancel, and you can see that we're left with minus 1 over t squared. So, either way, we're getting, obviously, the same gradient. So, that puts us now in a good position to work out what the equation of the tangent is. So I'll just put an intro here, therefore equation of tangent okay, is, and using this form, then it's going to be y minus y1, y1 being c over t, equals the gradient m, which is minus 1 over t squared, times x minus x1, x1 is ct. And to try and prove it's this, there's no fractions, so I'm going to multiply through by t squared. So therefore we're going to get t squared y, and then for the second term here, that's going to be minus ct. Here I'll just expand the bracket, it'll be minus 1 times the bracket, so you're going to get minus x plus ct. 
So if we just rearrange this now, we can see that we get what we've got to show. t squared y plus x equals 2ct. And there you go.